All right, I am back with another Destiny 2 video. As I've previously said, there is not a ton to talk about with Destiny on a week-to-week -week basis, given these really stretched out seasons and not a whole lot of new information uh, outside of that. Um, something has come up today uh, that seems a little silly, and it has to do with an old problem we've had, an ongoing problem with these stupid-ass class items <laughs> for... <laughs> prismatic the exotic class items um okay i hate that like everything is essentially bad news when we talk about destiny now like oh the player counts down oh uh, episodes aren't working but like what am i supposed to do like there's <laughs> stuff just keeps happening okay so bungie has just issued literally a few minutes ago i just saw this i wasn't even gonna do a video they just issued a statement that says uh you can now be banned if you use macros to idle farm loot. Uh, this, of course, is in reference to the macro farm that people were doing for chests in the Pale Hearts, um, where you could just sit there and do a macro and open chests and open chests and um, eventually get a good stack of exotic class items that way as you're looking for um, a specific role. And now that will result in a ban. I, this is obviously not the first time Macros have been used for loot or materials or whatever, but it was like the most recent and most prominent. Um, I'll just read the exact thing here. Starting today, we have revised our restriction and ban policy to include the use of input macros to automate gameplay. While input macros can be a beneficial accessibility tool for many, and we intend to keep it that way, some have been leveraging these tools to automate gameplay. Players detected using uh, automation to circumvent idle detection or perform automated activities to earn loot may be restricted or banned. Loot includes, but is not limited to, XP materials or drops. Example, exotic class items. <laughs> automation or circumvention uh, includes, but is not limited to, programmable controllers, keyboard mouse adapters, advanced macros, or artificial intelligence. We have no plans to retroactively issue bans or restrictions to anyone, and any bans or restrictions related to this will be issued for uh, future infractions. And then they talk about how um, some other people were banned recently, but for reasons that don't have to do with this, I guess that situation was messy. It's something to do with people in Discord. I don't exactly know what happened with that, but it sounds somewhat annoying. Um, okay, so uh, the takeaway here is like, they made a really bad farm system for this. And then people were using macros to get like any amount of chance to maybe get the random roll combination uh, they wanted given the ridiculous odds of actually um, pairing those perks together based on uh, how you were running the activity. And th the steps Bungie has taken to improve this, quote unquote, have been pretty terrible, honestly. And like they always say they're working on more stuff. And there was something a while ago, uh, you know, about how they were going to let you go towards specific perks or something but like it's been two months already since um you know it's the final shape and like okay yeah they had the layoffs yes i will that's understandable so i, I get why things are moving a little slower than normal but like the changes they have made are they don't even make sense like they might as well not have even made any changes because i feel like we're in a worse situation than we were before we had the double drops on dual destiny on completion which was a glitch which they patched did not seem overly rewarding given again how, how absurd this farm is then uh because one of the most efficient ways to get these efficient was doing this chest loop of just driving around your sparrow in in one of the sections and opening chests they nerfed that and now those world chests give a lot they have a t terrible chance of giving stuff that was also to fight the macros because people are doing that with the chests there and now you have to run um tier four whatever it's called, overthrows, and like it gets a stacking chance to give you more stuff. Um, it wasn't even working at first for tier fours, but now it exists and it's still like, it's a really bad drop right there too. Their latest thing before this uh, was they announced that Xur would now be selling exotic uh, class items where, <laughs> I, I saw this at the time, but like it's worth revisiting now because of this where, okay, so Xur will sell uh, a engram once a week for a random roll on an exotic class item for 41 strange coins. And I think you, you can only, yeah, you can only buy it once per account. And he's only guaranteed to sell the exotic class items 
uh, for the first week this is available, which is um, this coming weekend. But afterwards, he will return to his RNG ways, so he might not even sell it in a given week. Ridiculous. Just ridiculous. Like, you, you want to have Zer sell these? Fine. He needs to sell three per character, per week, every week. I just came off the head on the top of my head, but like, why is Bungie being so weird about this? Oh, and you still have to complete Dual Destiny, which like, that's a whole debate for another time. And like, I, I go back and forth on whether that requirement is, is worth it or not. But like, the point is, say you have, like, I don't understand why they're being so stingy about this. Like, this was one of the you know, biggest promoted features of, of Lightfall in terms of loot acquisition. And it's not like you can't make prismatic work without this stuff. And there are certainly plenty of builds that do not rely on one specific pair of, you know, exotic class item perks. But like, why is this suddenly like getting, getting the right role in this? Like one of the most rare drops in the game with the most frustrating farm humanly possible. Like, what is their philosophy here? Like I've, I've complained too much, you know, or a lot <laughs> about crafting and how that negates really sort of any grind as you just get five red borders, which at this point is absurdly easy and you never really have to worry about rolls again. But then th this is something that it goes way, way, way to the other side uh, to the point where I, I don't with the game, with the state the game is in and the state the community is in just who cares, man, just start dropping these everywhere. Like put them in pathfinders, put them in, you know, every activity, like who cares if after three, four months, people finally get the role they want? Who cares if after three, four weeks, people get the role they want? Like, I don't understand their desire to be so stingy with this. Like, do they think it's extending playtime or something? Like, I, I don't understand the thought process here. And when they're like, you know, cooking up a, a new plan here, it's to give Zer one random role uh, once per account every couple of weeks like that's that's a big solution and like you know they can say they're working toward other stuff but who knows when that's going to get here and then on top of this now they're banning rack rows based on what was a terrible farm in the first place and the, the takeaway is like we made this bad farm you did this thing to get around it and now if that happens again you're going to get banned and like i don't even think macro farming is worth it now given the nerfs to chess but i someone else who actually uses macros can tell me that um it's not a good decision at least don't announce it now as we're still in the middle of this situation with these class item drops like ban you know ban macros down the line or whatever for whatever reason like i don't even think it's as big of a deal as they're making it out to be i don't remember anything that was like explicitly ruined by macros as far as i can remember but like whatever man like just just read the room at this point and pretty much all changes to the game right now should be things people want the health of the game at this point doesn't matter. Don't care about balance. Don't care about anything. Just do things that the players want to see or that players would come back for. If you need to balance a bunch of stuff later, like great, but like you really should be focused almost exclusively on things that players are complaining about and you can fix or things that players would like to see improved, whether that's better farming, you know, rates or whatever, or, you know, um, better pursuits. Just literally anything except this and except these you know painfully painfully slow changes to um this exotic class item acquisition which i i'm i remain baffled by why this has been such an issue for months now and appears like it's still going to be an issue for more months to come you know we have another six weeks till the end of this act so i assume some major change will come maybe at the end of the episode Again, like what? What's that's will be four months after the expansion premiered. I, I don't know. So anyway, stop using macros. Um, not that necessarily they're useful right now. Anyway, and just uh, if you're farming exotic class items, maybe stop because you're probably gonna drive yourself insane. Um, and I know, yeah, everyone always yells at me like, "Oh, you play the first ascendant, and they have like three percent drop rates on like energy activators." It's like. Yeah, but like you need one of those for one character ever. <laughs> and it's like the most important item in the game practically. Whereas an exotic class item, you're just trying to like play around with like one cool build or something. Like it's it's not in the same category of thing. And there's the point is like there's no reason to make the grind this ridiculous for this specific item. Yeah. So that's that's my piece on this. I stopped grinding these a long time ago. I couldn't even, some of the classes, like I couldn't even really think of a Titan one I actually wanted over some of the normal exotics I was using. Eventually I stopped using it for Warlock. I just used that 
Terexapos chest for needles and suspension and stuff, which is better. Um, I think I am using one on Hunter. I don't even remember what it is, but whatever. And it ruins fashion, so that's not good either. Anyway, that's what's happening in Destiny. <laughs> oh, also, I guess they they changed a bunch of people's bungee names. Uh, with some, I don't know how they're reverting that or what's going on with that. I haven't logged in, so I don't know if my bungee name has changed. Um, it's literally, I, I have not, I don't think I've logged in since the first day of Solstice. And then I saw the grind to get the armor. And like, even though I'm like Mr. Fashion armor person, I was like, I'm good. And then I went back to my other games. And now I'm on at least somewhat as a, of a live service hiatus uh, until there is something meaningful to do instead of just, you know grinding stuff for the sake of grinding stuff at least i want to experience like new new destiny content or like a new season and something or whatever so uh no reason to check out destiny right now apparently it's just this is the kind of stuff that's going on and i really just wish they would redirect their focus to things that actually matter because this does not and i don't see the point of this but yeah anyway thanks for watching and i'll talk to you soon take care